All right, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Picoon B12 wireless Bluetooth headphones. Now, these on Amazon, they retail, as you can see, for $20.99. They do have them on sale right now for $19.99. Now, these have 20 hours. Let me show you right here on the page. They do have 40 millimeter uh, drivers and they have 20 hours of battery life, as you can see there. They also have Bluetooth 5.0, which is pretty nice. And uh, I think they look pretty, pretty nice, as you can see this guy wearing the headphones themselves. But are they worth the money? Let's find out. Okay, moving on to the accessories. The first accessory I'm gonna show you here is a pretty nice micro USB cable. It's pretty long too. It's not one of those little short cables. So that's pretty cool that they threw that in. And then we also get a very nice uh, cable. It's this, this cable is an auxiliary cable and it is gold plated and it feels real good too. So I do like that for the price. I think we get everything we need. Uh, so for that, I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Now let's move on. Okay, moving on to the hardware. Now I do like that. Let's start with this. I do like this uh, light. It's a ring of light, changes color. It looks real nice. And the whole headphones are pretty much uh, plastic. Even the band is plastic. So I'm not a big fan of that. Um, in front we have some buttons. We have the power button, we have a volume rocker, a mode button, and then we have your uh, micro SD card so you can play uh, these uh, headphones without a phone. So you just insert a, a micro SD card and you can play your music. Has your auxiliary port and then you have your micro USB port to charge the headphones. Now everything is glossy black you can see there but you cannot fold uh these headphones or you know you, they just move a little bit as you can see there i don't really like this cable but at least the cable is braided as you can see so um that being said i do think the the build quality is pretty nice the ear cups did get a little bit warm after about an hour and a half of use but for $20 that they're going for I think the build quality is pretty good for the price so I'm not gonna kill them for that and I love the ring so for that I'm gonna give them thumbs up now let's move on okay moving on we're gonna be doing the stretch test now this is a test that I like to do for people that want to buy these headphones if you guys want to see how much they can stretch out if you have a big head or if you just Want to see how much they can stretch out this test is for you so let's go ahead and do that one two and three and as you can hear no crazy sounds the sound was me pressing on the ear cups but other than that as you can hear no crazy sounds now just remember that this is plastic usually when there's plastic bands they tend to break from the there but there's no crazy sounds, so just keep that in mind Okay, moving on to the sound quality. Now, some of the albums I used to test these headphones out, I did play some Jesse Reyes, some Juanes. I also played some Young M.A. and some Romeo Santos. Now, we're gonna first talk about the bass. In my opinion, the bass was pretty nice for the price that these retail for. The bass was fine. Um, if I had to nitpick, I would say that the bass uh, overpowered the mids in some tracks. Not all the tracks that I listened, but I did notice that in some tracks it wanted to overpower the mids and you could kind of tell. But I don't want to kill these headphones for that because for $20, the bass was pretty nice in my opinion. So I think the bass was pretty good for that. It was, it's not gonna blow your mind or anything, but it's definitely not trash. So for that, I think they did the best they could for 20 bucks. 
and uh, I think the base was fine. So I think it's pretty nice. So let's move on. Okay, moving on to the mids and highs. I felt like the mids and highs were above average. Uh, they're not crystal clear or anything like that. And sometimes, like I said, the bass tried to overpower the mids, but I still feel like the vocals was uh, up front and uh, pretty decent. Um, I enjoyed using these headphones. They do have a more uh, warmer sound, uh, a bassy feel, but still nice. And like I said, $20, they got pretty loud and I was actually happy. You know, if you buy these for $20, I don't think you're gonna say these are trash because for $20, let me tell you, I've seen some really bad headphones out there and these are not it. These are pretty good. They're above average, um, but don't expect $200 in sound quality here. But I think they did the best they could with the sound and I was actually impressed because $20 when I first got these, I was thinking that the sound was gonna be trash, but I was very surprised of, of a, a nice warm sound. That's what I got with these. So for that, I think you get pretty good sound quality here. Now let's move on. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? So in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? Now, in my opinion, they are. Now, let me explain why. You For $20, you get very nice looking uh, headphones. But here on my channel, I always say that sound comes first. And for $20, they sound very good. Like you can really go on Amazon and find $20 headphones that are trash. And these are not trash. These are above average headphones. So just keep that in mind. But $20 goes a nice way with these headphones. And let me explain again why. You get 60 feet of Bluetooth range, which is on par with my AirPods Pro. So that's pretty crazy. Also, the mics are pretty nice. Everybody that I was talking to told me that the sound uh, of my voice sounded pretty good. And some people didn't even think that I was talking on headphones. So the mics are very nice at that. The build quality is okay. Everything is plastic. And like I said here, actually they do fold. I did find out that they fold, as you can see there. I did want to show you that because I told you on the build quality that they didn't fold, but then I noticed that they do fold. So just keep that in mind. But look at that. I like how that changes color. That's awesome. When you're wearing them, I had a lot of people come and ask me what kind of uh, headphones I was using because everybody just kept looking at my headphones, how they change lights. And that's very nice. The They have them in different colors, but this one to me, all black looks just good um the ear cups though after an hour and a half i had to readjust them because they were getting hot but other than that definitely worth the money um, they get pretty loud and everything i threw at it sounded pretty good you know nothing for me to really complain for the price range now if these were 200 dollars, i can nitpick more but for $20, they're really, I can't really nitpick on these headphones. So I'm gonna recommend them. I think they're worth the price again. And um, so that was my review. Check out all my videos, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.